YouTube, Smoking Uncle Frank here. You know, I hate technology. I had a really good video going there for a while and I paused it and I went and did something and I came back and somehow it, I don't know what it did, but I couldn't find the button, the, 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 the unpause button. It, it like disappeared off the screen. It's supposed to be right over there on the side there and it's gone now. So I got to start all over again. Screwed me all up. Damn freaking computers. I was, um, where was I start? I started out, I say, I was saying, you know, I, maybe that'll be my, maybe that'll be my tag. You know, old Burger's got tuba, tuba, tuba. Matches has got matches. And, uh, you saw some of these other guys that got these little, little tag phrases they got that kind of introduced themselves. I don't know what I got to do. Where's my freaking lighter? Hmm. Anyway, I did a tin opening and for you and on the camera and somehow I don't know I opened up some of this here. I figured I, I bought I bought I bought I got eleven tins. I can spare one. I put ten in the cellar and open one. And in the middle of while I was while I was pausing it, what I did was I went and jarred it up. I was gonna come back and say, well, there it is, jarred up and everything. Well, there it is, jarred up now. And I'll show the flake again. Best as I can here. Damn it. I've been bitten by the Costello bug. You know, when I saw that, when I when I, I had bitten, been bitten a long time ago, but uh, I finally I finally found the one I wanted, which was that Sea Rock. You know, see if I can get a couple of flakes out here for you. Nice flakes. Get past some of this loose stuff that always seems to accumulate. That's all on the top there. You know, I gotta pack it back in there. Oh my god. I couldn't make a video the other day because I was out with a cold. Anyway, I can't I can't get it's all smooshed in there now. But anyway, I'll just show you what I got here. This is this is this is the stuff here. It's a broken flake. It doesn't hold together very well. But it's a nice got a nice it's a nice red Virginia. Nice really nice I hope you can see that well it smells amazing it's got that typical kind of kind of vinegary kind of set little bit a little bit of a vinegariness to it I'm not gonna say it's anything like uh, you know who but um, it's pretty damn good stuff um, I've been puffing on it here I filled my uh, I'm gonna get the right pipe here I've got too many pipes in front of me here I get my uh, my Costello of course, because I have, I, I kind of more or less want to dedicate this one towards Virginia, so this is a Virginia, so I may as well smoke it in the good one. But as I was saying, nice thing about these, 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 um, these kind of pipes here with the, with the, uh, I like, I like the, uh, rusticated, the black, the dark rusticated pipe because, um, I'm real careful with this one, not to let it get any rim burn or anything, but when I bought it, it said there was slight rim charring on it. I, I don't see anything. Do you? Looks pretty clean to me. And, uh, but the nice thing is that, is that rim charring is usually black anyways, and it kind of blends in. It doesn't really show. Even though, like I said, I am being extremely careful when I'm lighting this thing, not to let anything overlap, tilt the pipe the wrong way, and have things kind of go back on it. I'm not going to pause it again because I was going to pause it and smoke it for a while and see what it's like and give you my yeah, give you my first impression. It's got a tanginess to it. It's it's, it's nice tobacco. How come I always have to do a take two? Why can't I ever get it right? Why can't anything ever work for me? Rotten computers, rotten technology. Maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. I'll get better at it eventually, I guess. Hope everybody's having a nice weekend. I uh, also got a, I got some of this here. Uh, Probably you probably all know about it, the Maltese Falcon. I've been puffing on that today. Um, 
<coughs> can finally start to taste something again. Got my smeller back a little bit, thanks to probably thanks to Mucinex. I've been, been taking them things. I'm really Uncle Frank a little bit now because take, take you know what them antihistamines will do to you. My next my next project, I'm and I and I almost you know I almost bought it. I almost bought it, but I saw something else that I wanted. Oh yeah, when I said I'd been bitten by the the Costello bug. I was bitten a long time ago when I, I wanted this one, and I and I couldn't find it. And and and, and then thanks to Jeff coming down to the shop that day and telling me about it. I was aware of it and I bought the thing, so I got a good deal on it. Though I think it was it was two seventy five. So for Costello, that's not a bad price. And it's it's. Really, it was in really beautiful shape. I mean, they, they cleaned it up real well. Or either that or whoever had it took care of it really well. I don't know. But um, I went on eBay. Because I fought, fell in love with this shape. And I saw another smooth one. It's coming from Germany, though. It's going to be a while before you get to see it. Mike out there, Mike, and you know who you are, my lurker, Mike, if you're watching this, shush, don't tell anybody, unless they watch this video, it's the only way they're going to know, and there's some people I don't want to know, but hopefully they won't know, if they do, oh well, I just spilled the beans on myself, I'm a blabbermouth, and I saw another one, on, um, on, um, it wasn't a, it wasn't a shape 55, but it was a Dublin, I saw it, and that one you'll get to see sooner because um, that one's coming from Eagle Reese. So I got my three pipe set now, anyways, or whatever. I can't afford that that smoking pipe uh, set. That um, I'll put a link down below. But smoking pipe just updated their their website. They got a set on there, a seven day set of shape fifty fives. Yeah, thirty four oh four. And I ain't talking thirty four dollars either. I wish <laughs> I'd jump on it. I, I mean, I got the money in my savings, but I, I just can't do that. I, I, I gotta think of my, uh, I gotta think of my old age. There was a day so when I bought that arcade machine. Go back in my videos. I bought that arcade machine over there. It's got. Was it got like sixty nine thousand old arcade games on it? That wasn't cheap. That was uh, a, around the around the price of, the, of that set of pipes. Yeah, if I hadn't have bought that, that pipe that pipe set would be mine right now. <laughs> but unfortunately, Uncle Frank's got a got a real uh, thing for video, old video games and old 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 stuff anywhere as far as that goes. I like old. I like vintage stuff, and well, it's, it's not vintage, but it's got all the vintage games on it, so. And it's arcade too, so I can play it arcade style. So it's got all the uh, it's got all the ROMs of the original arcades on it, so. So. No seven pipe set for this guy. I'd love to have it, but <laughs> boy. That, that's uh, something to drool over. I'll put a link down below. I, I already said that for, that for anybody who wants to see it. Uh, what I was going to say uh, also, before I get to rambling and forget what I was going to say, I want to get myself a couple of OMS. I, I saw OMS Dublin and the OMS Cherry. They're both about 150 a piece. One's 140, one's 150. So somewhere down the line, I want to get those two. Those are the only two ones out of out of the whole group that he's got on the website that 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 I like I like the way they look I like the shape so everybody shops with their eyes you know you see what you like and you know what you like and you buy it or you you dream about it and you drool over it last night I was couldn't go to sleep. It was, it was probably midnight. I woke up. I couldn't go to sleep. I was thinking about that 
that doggone pipe on you and Reese. Got up around midnight, went on my computer. Click, 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 it's mine now. No. I should be getting that by. Well, I ordered last night. To Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know, something like that. Maybe sooner. Depends on how fast they are about shipping. Having that one sent down to the shop. The other one's coming here. I should have I should have actually had the other one sent to my workplace because I know they're going to require a, si a signature on the thing. And I'm uh, more than likely not going to be here, which means I'm going to have to drive over to the DHL or wherever it, wherever it, right now it's the DHL's got it. I don't know if it's going to be. They sometimes pass things over to the post office when they when they get so far. Like like when you order something from uh, smoking pipes, you get the, it'll say UPS, and then and then all of a sudden it's USPS. It said they hand it over to the post office. And well, anyway, I hope they do that because it's a lot easier. I don't know. It'd be a lot easier to just go to the post office. I know where that's at, and try to figure out how to get to the damn. DHL, wherever the hell that is, and find a way in. But, it'll all work out in the end. And that'll be about it for me for a while, too. I am got to stay away from buying any more of them things. Because that, that, that's it's about, between them two, that's what, around, right around 800 bucks I blew. Yeesh. But couldn't help myself. I wanted it and I want what I want and I go oh well. But the nice thing is though is that um, PayPal, I use my PayPal credit because I got a PayPal credit account and I pay them off all the time. I always pay them, I pay my bills on time so nobody's got anything to complain but they offered me, uh, they offered me 0% interest, uh, pay it off in a year. Of course, I'm going to pay it off a lot sooner than that. I'll pay it off probably in three months or so. Two, three months, I'll have it paid, have that pipe paid for, and that'll be that. And in the meantime, I'll nibble away at the credit card for the, for the other one. And this one here, well, this one this one paid for. This one, I, I already gave them their money. I already paid that credit card bill off. So on to the next credit card. But a couple of my credit cards, I'm trying to knock them out. Now, they haven't got a lot on them, but they got enough on them to be annoying. So I'm going to knock them out and just kind of concentrate on the one big one that I got from when I was in the hospital and when, when this one here needed some some help. And she needed needed some veterinary care. That cost me about 800 bucks, but she's my pal. I love her, and I'm not going not to let anything happen to her. So... Anyway, life is good, despite everything. <laughs> um, hmm. well, I figure maybe and maybe maybe uh, sometime after Christmas or something, I'll get a Christmas bonus. I'll take home my Christmas bonus and I'll buy them all that all messes. There, they'll always be there. The trouble is finding some of these certain shapes of a Costello. They're they're not. It seems like they're always out, or you gotta wait, you gotta look around, you gotta hunt for them. So I grabbed them while I could. Back to the tobacco. It's kind of got a. T it's it, you know that five one five has got that tangy taste. That it's got a much more tangier taste to it though. This is a little more subdued, but. This should be really good in a couple, two, three years. It, I mean, I got ten cans of it out back there, stuffed away in my cellar, along with some uh, honey bear. <coughs> and uh, some of the other one, I got a couple of, not a lot of that. I bought more of this here because this was a straight Virginia. And I, for some reason, I don't know. I just got really nutty about Virginias. So anyway, we're getting up on about fifteen minutes. So. Uh, 
I guess I'll sign out and I'll see y'all next time. Everybody out there, have a great day. Bye-bye, all.